Alright guys, welcome to episode 5 of the FIFA 19 Schalke career mode. It's been a shit season so far, but we did end the last episode on a pretty good high, picking up our first win at the Champions League against Napoli, with a 2-0 win in Italy. So that means it sets us up for a massive game today against Bayern Munich. We're at home, we're at the Fetlands Arena. Uh, we need more than home advantage. We could do with about an extra fucking 10 players advantage, to be honest, because in the Bundesliga... We have been awful, but I mean, we can only turn it around and we may as well start doing it now against the champions. As you can see, looking at the table, Bayern Munich, they've um, not had the greatest start to the season up for their standards. They've already, oh, right, three games in, they've got seven points. I mean, they're joint, you could argue they're joint with, I don't know, well, they're not really joint. If you take on goal difference, they're third or whatever, but I mean, they're on seven points along with five other teams, Bremen, Herford Berlin, Bayern Munich. Wolfsburg and Lisbig. So, I mean, if you, you look at those teams up the top and they're all very capable. What I also notice is if you look at three of the teams that beat us this season, they're all in the top four. So it's not as if we've lost to bums. I mean, and even then, the fourth team we're playing is Bayern Munich. So that's fucking, that's, um, that's unheard of. If you think about it, the top four teams that we've started the season against are all in the top four, man. So have we been shafted? Do the, whoever's making the fixtures for the Bundesliga, do they fucking hate us or something? I don't know, man. But um, let's try and get it right up on the day. Let's stick it to them and try and bring down Bayern Munich. That's what this series is all about. Toppling Bayern Munich, you know, bringing Bayern Munich down, fucking those Nazis right up the ass. And so far, we're the ones taking up the ass, but it's no acceptable. And I don't want to take up the ass, so uh, no more shite performances, guys. Let's start, you know, de delivering some uh, <laughs> deadly blows to... <laughs> To Bayern Munich, right? Let's go, guys. There is the table. Schalke versus Bayern Munich. Does it get any bigger? Apart from Stephanie McMahon's tits, of course. This is probably... Stay tuned for a big surprise. The biggest thing in the world. We've got Kramaric against Arjun Robin. 27-year-old against the 34-year-old. So hopefully Robin can out though, either retire or just die in this match. Or settle for you know, either one. Uh, him not playing will give us a better chance. Kramaric though, yet to score for us. We have bought him, we did pay a lot of money for him, 27.5 million, so he needs to start delivering or else uh, we will have to bench him guys. Mbolo has played well, he did play well against Napoli. He wanted to start this game, but I felt like his fitness wasn't really up to it. Plus I thought, you know what, we did spend 27.5 million on Kramaric. He's a big match player, so there's no bigger match than Bayern Munich's versus Schalke. So I thought we'll give Kramaric the benefit of the doubt, but he has to turn up today guys. We cannot keep playing him. Uh, he might, I don't care if he costs 500 million. And if he's as good as fucking Messi, at the end of the day, if you spend money on him, like, you have to play well to start, and he's not. So, that is our team. Farman, Baba, Sani, Naldo, Caliguri, and uh, I can't remember the rest because the screen, screen just went ahead and skipped it. But anyway, here is Bayern Munich. We've got Neuer, Felipe Luke, holy shit, Martinez, Coleman, Tolizo, our former midfielder Gretzka. We've got no Lewandowski today. Muller up front, so uh, interesting guys, it doesn't appear to... Shit, ball it towards Coleman, he's gonna come in. He's just come, he tried to do Naldo, but Naldo ain't falling for that shit, man. Just takes the ball right off him. Like candy from a baby, right? Good delivery in from Caliguri. In towards Arnold, it's headed away. Harat will get this. Can he get another ball in? Plays it to Naldo, who may actually take a shot for here. Naldo lets one rip, but Neuer stands strong, he makes the save. It's not been the most blockbuster of games, so it's not been two teams attacking, you know, going for it, fucking killing each other. But I mean, we've defended well. We've held Bayern Munich to just the one shot. We've had a couple of chances of our own. And if you'd offered me nil nil at half time, I would have took it, just like the. Oh no, it's Coleman. Robin, Robin follows it and it falls into Andy Farman. Now Muller's going off. Bayern making the last change, Lewandowski coming on, and that's when you know they mean business. I'm surprised he didn't get away from our man, and now we're in trouble here talking about Lewandowski. What can he do? We're about to find out. It's Rodriguez. It's through to Robin. And it's a good save for Farman. It needed to be a good save, and it was a good save there. For anyone but him, really. I mean, it'd be a fucking disaster if he scored the goal against us. It's Lewandowski. Oh, my God. 
And I knew when they were bringing him on, I knew that it was going to be difficult, but fuck me, there's not a lot you can do about that. He's just completely blasted it. And now I don't know what celebration that is. Hopefully you fucking drown, mate, diving underwater. Crack your head up that barricade or something, because that's, that's pish. I mean, I think I defended well. I tried to... I tried to stand between Lewandowski and the goal, but obviously I didn't, man. He finds a way past the two defenders. Farman made a couple of good saves the last five minutes. Couldn't make a good save there. And Lewandowski gives Bayern Munich the 1-0 lead. Caliguri to McKinney. Right, come on, corner blank, a back post. Corner blank, run in. Oh, it was actually Harat with the header there. But back to corner blank, tries to find Arnold, and that's going to be a corner. So we've won a corner with 20 seconds to go in farming. Yeah, get up there, mate. Fucking go for it, run. Hey, Dane jogging, mate. You're going to see if the left goes the whistle. Come in there and jog one on your chin, right? Come on. We need Cali corner blanket. He whips it in. It's towards the sunny and it's cleared away, and that's probably going to do it, man. Yes, that is it. There was no farming in net, but he wasn't needed because the referee blows the full time whistle, and we've lost again. We sure a lot more fight in that match, and uh, there definitely wasn't much between the teams. Or maybe a lot in the teams between quality of player, but in terms of actual performance, there wasn't that much. Bayern Munich in the second half did turn up the pressure. That is why. You know, they end up getting the win overall, but uh, yeah, I'm a bit sad, man, to, to lose that. I mean, we're playing well, then they bring Lewandowski on, and before you know it, uh, they win. So, it kind of sucks. Our best rated player was Caliguri, who went 8.0 rate, and he also got man of the match, so it kind of shows you how well that we actually did to get a player getting man of the match, but it doesn't really matter about that, man. It's all about picking up wins, picking up results, and we failed to do that here. And that's going to leave us bottom of the Bundesliga. Well, we were already bottom before we went into this game, so it's hard to imagine that we're going to move off the bottom of the table with a defeat. We haven't, and there you can see that the uh, we're the only team in the entire Bundesliga yet to pick up a point. Like I said, no being dramatic, up next we've got Freiburg, and I believe we have to win this or the season is fucking finished. Friday, we've yet to get nice off the mark in the Bundesliga, man. Four games, no goals. That is absolutely disgraceful, man. Uh, we're playing in our lime green kit again. The only other time we've played in that this season is against Napoli. We actually won that game in the Champions League, so I mean, maybe it's this kit, maybe this kit is the road to glory. I mean, you look at this Freiburg team, and there's just not a lot to it, man. Like I say, if we can't start, this is where we start our league season, if we can't pick up a win here, then. What are we doing in this league? We may as well fucking relegate us to the bloody Iron Brew Highland League in Scotland or something, right? We're going to be farming in nets. Cheap kit, Sani, Nastasic coming in for Bayonaldo, Geese and Harat, and Bolo on the left, Arnold in the cam roll. And yes, controversial, but we have dropped Kramaric and we brought in Uta. Uh, just reason being this, I mean, come on, we haven't scored a goal in. Ball comes in. Oh, good scene for Farman. I mean, Farman looks absolutely pissed off. Not as pissed off as me, though. I could, I could just run onto the pitch and fucking wipe out those 11 pricks in the red shirt. Even though the goalkeeper's probably not wearing the red, you know, wipe him out as well. Can't believe that. Three minutes in. I mean, initially, it's a good save from Farman, but then there's just the defenders are nowhere there to help him. And it's an easy tap in there. For crap, I don't know, man. Whoever that fucking is, why is Geese the back there? Where the fuck's Nastasic? Where the fuck is Sani? Why are they not in there winning that ball first time around, man? Embarrassing, fucking embarrassing start. Marco Terracino with the goal. I mean, the only f the only positive I'm finding is I know Freiburg shite, and I know that we've still got 90, uh, 86 minutes to win this game. Apart from that, though, awful start. Oh, that's nice, Fembolo. Oh, that's fantastic, Fembolo. Still in Bolo. Takes a shot. The shot takes a deflection. And it's going to be a corner kick. But fucking hell, Embolo should be starting every game. Just look at the way he completely tore past the Freiburg defence there. Again, it's like going to be another corner, right? I mean, apart from the goal, we've actually started this. No bad cross coming in. Naldo, I think it's Sani. Naldo's not even playing. It has to be Sani. I don't want to come out with the old uh, all black guys look the same joke, but I mean it is kind of hard to differentiate between them. Well, sheep trying to look for geese running in. He might find them actually. It's geese. 
Still Geese. Takes a shot blocked. Oh my god. It's in. I thought it was over. I can't fucking believe that. It's actually way it in. I think it's Arnold with his first goal for Schalke. It is Arnold and I don't I think it's because we've been that bad recent this season. I just expected that to miss. I thought it was over the bar, but let's see it again here. Geese did well there to win the ball. His shot saved by the keeper and then Arnold just getting the header low enough to go underneath the bar. And that's exactly what we need to get back on level terms. Truthfully, we don't deserve it, man. We've been awful, but I mean, we're back level now. 20 minutes. Oh, that's lovely. It's through to Mbolo. Oh, and it's a put, it's a heavy touch. And then I think he almost fucking manslaughters number 15 before. So, end of the first half, and we've had four shots. That's probably a lot more. That's probably the most we've actually created in any half of this season. But I'm looking at the Freiburg chances. I've had 10, and that's just not acceptable. And we're rocky farmers having a solid game because they're keeping us in it. Now, I think we have improved going forward, but defensively we have not been good enough. We've been giving them too many chances. We're going to have to stop that in the second half. I still feel we can get the win here, though. I think that the three points is definitely there for the taking, but we need to be more clinical and we need to tighten up at the back. Looking for teammates in the middle. Pains on oh, Norris came back post. Oh, what a save, Farmer. It's definitely keeping us in this. Man of the match, no doubt about it. And in defence, ball played out to Mbolo. This could be a chance. I mean, the opening is there. Mbolo. Oh, Mbolo, that's brilliant. It's through to Cedar. They go on. No, the subs. Oh, it's Cedar on his fucking head up. Oh, that well, wasn't even going to go in. What the hell? Caliguri, Harit. Oh, that's lovely for Harit. Gets past his man. Looking for the cross. Again, Harit. Oh no man, no way, are you joking me? How the hell did we just fucking dribble in and out man and then couldn't get the, couldn't get the cross in? Bolo's going to keep this in but what can he do with it? Still in Bolo, oh, oh my god! Anyway, no, what the fuck are you smoking referee? He's killed him, he's fucking killed him. It's Bolo's still injured. He's just back to his feet now, Sadar tries to find him, it's still Mbolo, Mbolo over, oh my god he's found Harit, Harit! I can't believe that man, I cannot believe that, five minutes to go, that was our chance. Ball comes in, it's looking dangerous, it's headed away only as far as Gondorf though. He plays it to Haberer, he takes a shot and Farman with a save and now I don't think we'll have any time now to get this up or not, the referee. Oh, it blows the full time whistle, and I don't know what to make of that, guys. I think it's a, t a game that we should be winning against Freiburg, who I believe will be, you know, down there in the relegation battle. But at the same time, like, we did create chances towards the end with a decent amount of shots. In the second half, we kind of kept them contained, and uh, we did pick up our first point and first goal of the season. So I'm looking at this is it really that bad a result, or is it just the fact that? We lost our opening four Bundesliga games is making it as that point takes us off the bottom of the table, which is uh, it's better than nothing. I mean, it's, I'd rather be 17th than 18th. It's a fucking no-brainer. At the top, you've still got Bayern Munich, Wolfsburg in second, Herford in third, Red Bull Lisbeck in fourth, Hanover fifth, Ferder Bremen sixth, Leverkusen seventh, Dortmund eighth. So all the big teams up there. But I mean, really, when you look at it, we're not that far behind. I know that might sound fucking obnoxious, man, or I don't know. Delusional, but uh, Bayern Munich have played an extra game. If we can win our game, we're only what? Well, even if Wolfsburg win, we're not. Uh, I mean, it's a shit start to the season, but it could have been a lot worse. You look at Dortmund; they've played five games. They've not exactly made the best start either yet. They're in eighth place, you know. So we're only what six points behind them, and we do have a pretty decent run of fixtures coming up. I'll just show you them now. I mean, we did get four of the hardest games of the season out of the way very early on. So up next we've got Mainz 05. You'd, you'd like to think we'll beat them. I believe it is at home. It is. We should beat them at the Fetlands. Then we've got Galatasaray in the Champions League. And then we've got Dusseldorf away. I'm hoping that that's, that should be two six-pointers. And then the games begin to get a lot harder. We've got Bremen, we've got Real Madrid, Red Bull Lisbig, we've got Mönchengladbach in the Cup, which is fucking bullshit. Uh, got, I think the season could be made on the next couple of Bundesliga games. If we win them, then I think we can get out 
of this horrible start we made. If we lose them, then it's looking fucking grim right at the bottom, guys. But anyway, that's going to do it. I'm hoping that next time we can get the win against is it Mainz, and then we take on Galatasaray in the Champions League. It's going to be a huge clash. Whichever one of us wins, that goes on to six points, and it's looking like we could definitely go through. So, massive game. Should be a good episode, but until then, peace.